Anxiety and phobias. Um, I love dealing with people who've got anxiety and phobias because it's very uh, interesting to see how imaginative these people can be. Uh, so for example, if you are a person who's frightened of spiders, for example, as I used to be, I used to be terrified of spiders. Um, I used to imagine if a spider was to come towards me, it would be huge, it would have biceps, it would have hobnail boots and it was going to eat me or something like that. Anxiety is imagining in the future something which you might not yet have experienced, but imagining what will happen. The fact that you won't be able to cope, so your heartbeat will raise or you're, you know, you'll start to sweat or you'll feel sick. Uh, and you'll do everything you can to avoid being in that situation. Much like you'd try to avoid anything that would cause you the phobic response from the thing that you're frightened of. So what we do is we focus on those issues and how the brain codes things. And if you look at the video uh, that talked about how the brain works, it talked about neural pathways and these dendrites and the way that they're like little roots. And the more you experience something in your mind, uh, the stronger that experience comes and uh, becomes. And then the more your brain just takes you straight away to that special feeling because this is the way that this is the roots have been uh, have grown. So what we need to do is to change that for you. And we can do that a number of ways. We can use one of the other different techniques, the, the EFT, the uh, NLP, the hypnosis, uh, all of those. And sometimes we can use creative visualization um, to help you to feel better now about that situation in the future.